Hey everybody, this is John. I'm here to bring you a little tech tip from streamingteacher.com. Today, I'm going to go through and renumber my tools for this program, but I have a problem with my speeds and feeds. I have Jim here to help me. Hey Jim. Uh, good morning, John. So my problem is that in the operations themselves, I actually set my speeds and feeds in the operations instead of saving them to the tool. And now I have to go and change all of my tool numbers because we renumbered our library. But if I do that, it's going to update all of my speed and feed information, and I don't want to do that. So how do I avoid changing my speed and feed but still change my tool number? Oh, that's easy to do. Let's uh, start by going to the File tab and Configuration. Okay. Select the Tool Paths group, the ladder. Okay. In the column of checkboxes, there's one marked or labeled lock feed rates. You want to make sure that is checked. Okay. That will retain whatever feed rates are currently in the operation if we make edits to it. Okay. So we, we can go ahead and save the configuration now. And there's a couple of ways that we can do this now. If you want to just renumber the tool sequentially, at this point, you want to just make sure you have all the operations selected that you want to renumber the tools in. Okay, and then so do, I would just a, shift click to get everything. Got it. And then right click in the toolpath manager. Okay. Select the edit selected operations. Okay. And renumber tools. Okay. And so that would renumber them sequentially. So top to bottom, it would just be one, two, three, four, five. Correct. Okay. Well, I don't want to do that in this program, but that's good to know. How do I change them individually? To do the individual change, you just go into an operation using the tool and just simply change the tool number in the operation. And this won't change my speed and feed? Correct. Okay. So my two inch face mill is now tool number 19. So I just change it here and it doesn't change my information. Okay. And you'll see the tool number updated in the list of tools. Got it. Okay. And so you just go to each operation that uses a given tool and do that. As an alternate, you can go to the tool manager. Okay. And just do a right click on each tool and change the number of the tool. Oh, so I just go to edit tool here. Okay. Yes. And then I can change the number in the second page. Correct. Okay. Great. Well, that sounds like I have a great answer to my question. Thanks, Jim. You're very welcome. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and come on over to streamingteacher.com for more great master cam training content like this.